Water is an incredible liquid substance that is vital for all sorts of animals and plants that enables them to function and thrive. From huge ecosystems right down to the tiny cells that build you and me, water is needed and is essential for all life here on Earth. And we as humans are certainly included in this list as 60% of our bodies are made up of water. Interestingly though, the older we get, the less amount of water we are. Newborns, for instance, are made up of about 75% water, while the average adult is about 60. Then we have the elderly, which typically are made up of about 50% water. Maybe that is why older folks are known to have more of a dry sense of humour. But what does happen if we don't drink enough water? And what are some simple yet effective ways to help us drink the water we need? Well, our age, activity, body mass index, and gender all have a role to play in how much water we need. However, the general rule of thumb is about 8 glasses of water for adults. You might think that is a lot of water to drink in a day, but thankfully you're not an elephant who drinks up to 200 litres a day. While on the other hand of the spectrum, we are certainly not tardigrades, which can survive several years without water. Giving up almost all the water in its body, the tardigrade simply curls up into a dry husk, and it can stay in that state for decades only reanimating when it comes into contact with water. Humans, on the other hand, can only last about three to four days without water before death occurs. And although those of you who are watching this video haven't gotten to that point yet, research does show that 75% of Americans are dehydrated, with places like Australia being up to 80%. You may be asking, well, why are we so dehydrated? And although the answer may be simple, it doesn't help that we use and lose about 1.5 to 2 litres of water a day through things like our urine, breath, sweat, and even small amounts through our poop. So if we don't replenish that water lost, our bodies begin to show signs that it is suffering. So what are some of the signs of dehydration? Well, sign number one is that your urine will become a dark yellow. This is because our kidneys, which filter waste, tell the body to retain water. Therefore, we have less water in our urine, which causes it to become darker and causes us to have fewer trips to the toilet. While on the other hand, keeping hydrated will help have a healthy urinary system and reduce the risk of kidney stones and diseases. The next sign of dehydration that you may experience is dry, flaky and even itchy skin. Skin, like other organs, needs plenty of water to function so that it can expel waste through sweat. Furthermore, water helps to moisturise your skin, keeping it clear, smooth and soft while helping to reduce wrinkles and acne. Dry mouth and bad breath are another sign of dehydration as you do not produce as much saliva. The reduced cleaning action of the saliva allows bacteria to grow, causing your breath to have a bad smell. A fourth sign is dry eyes as they are an organ that needs water to keep it lubricated and hence the dryness may be a result of your body not having enough water. Sign number five is sickness. Those who don't drink enough water become more sick and also stay sick for longer. Drinking plenty of water helps fight against flu, cancer and other ailments like heart attacks. As water dissolves essential vitamins and nutrients from food and delivers them to our body's cells. Headaches, dizziness, cloudy mind and losing concentration can all be a direct result of being dehydrated, but more so because of our brains being dehydrated. Since our brains are about 75% water, Drinking enough water helps you to think, focus, concentrate, and be more alert. It may even help that headache you've been getting lately. Muscle and joint pain is another sign of dehydration, as water helps to keep joints lubricated and muscles more elastic. The eighth sign you may experience is lethargicness and irritation. Dehydration can cause various body functions to slow down, leaving you feeling sluggish, tired, and irritable. That is why a glass of water can be a great pick-me-up. Feeling hungry during the day can also be a sign of dehydration as we sometimes confuse our thirst with hunger. Simply having a glass or two of water when you do feel a bit hungry may take away that feeling and help you to become rehydrated. So did any of those symptoms relate to you? Well, here are four tips to help you keep hydrated. Number one, keep a water bottle near you. You may have heard of the saying out of sight and out of mind. Well, this helps to counteract that by placing the water inside and therefore in mind. Number two, eating more fruits and vegetables. Eating more fruits and vegetables is a great way to keep hydrated. Although it won't work as fast as a glass of water, studies do show that those who have a high amount of fruit and veg have a higher hydration status. This is no surprise as most vegetables and fruit are almost all water. Just having 11 cucumbers will actually give you your daily recommendation of eight glasses of water. Number three, add salt to your water. Just adding a pinch of salt to your glass of water can increase your hydration 
as water and salt are two important elements in keeping hydrated. Salt is needed to help water move across the cell walls into the cell so that it can function properly. Thus, adding salt will help your cells absorb more water. So make sure you use Celtic, Himalayan or sea salt as the nutritional value of these salts are far higher than our typical table salt. Tip number four, setting reminders. Whether an alarm, email, notification or sticky note, using some reminder throughout the day to drink water is a simple yet effective way that it will help you set a good drinking habit. So did you learn something new? Well tell me in the comments below what you did learn or something that helps you keep hydrated. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe and remember, keep hydrated. Thank you.